No. Right. Well. Yeah. Normally there's like stuff down here, but I know there's a secret passageway in here. And some gems. Gotta get those gems. You're in Operation Pixel. Got that gem, boy. Oh yeah. There's a little. Do you think? Do you think you level. can? Do you think there's any chance you can finish this world in this episode? Um. You know, I could go to the, I, I think I could probably go to the next world with the amount of... I think I think to go to the world 5, you need the... Um, I think you need the uh, freaking uh, 50 dragons. Ah. But so what you're saying is you've been 80 percenting this well enough. You still want the sauce? Much. No, I'm good. Okay. Don't put that in the middle of an episode, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's leaking on me. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, probably, that's the one that probably fell then. Um, shoot. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna grab a paper towel. There's one nearby. I just realized it. Yeah, we don't want sauce leaking everywhere. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is just a crappy flight level. Everyone. You just probably just throw the whole thing away. Oh. I won't. Yeah, just, like, I usually don't throw that in my garbage can. Why not? Because my garbage can stays down here for a while. Well, it's a garbage can. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> my garbage can is going to be sitting in this room for the next, like, three weeks. I don't want something to decompose me in it. Then you should probably take it out before three weeks. But why would I take it out before three weeks? It's not full. <laughs> because that looks like it would fill one entire garbage can. <laughs> that sauce fills an entire garbage can? No, your your garbage can. <laughs> it's like, that's like one week worth of You'd garbage. be surprised. Once I take it out, it's not that big. We're talking about a lot of visual stuff and a bunch of stuff that won't make any sense to anyone <laughs> listening in on this. Where's my, uh... I'm actually doing pretty good right now. Where's my paper towel? I, I put it over there. You gave me the sauce. Why would I bring the paper towel back? Because it's all over my hands. Okay, I didn't realize it was all over your hands. I thought you just wanted it to freaking... I'll get it. This is entertaining. <laughs> oh, guys, I just it's, completed it's the level. It's on the corner of the table there. Or, oh, almost completed it. Oh. The corner of the table? Not by the desk. The table. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, I almost yeah, completed... Yeah, I, I took a little bit of paper towel down earlier because that thing fell on the floor and s spilled a little bit. Oh, so you expected it to be all over I didn't expect it, it to... It was a plan! I didn't expect it to leak. We were we were like, oh, it doesn't seem to have, like, opened it like all. all. over my pants and my and pants. And we were just surprised that, like... We're like, oh, hey, apparently Let's the thing is... Let's give Ark the broken one. No, we said, apparently it's intact. Cool. That's good. I'm glad it didn't spill when it hit the floor. In other news, I almost completed that <laughs> flight level. Like, first try. We weren't listening at all, because Ark and I have been arguing about sauce. <laughs> It's a sauce all over my pants. This might be the sauciest episode of Operation Pixel. I would not be surprised if it was. Oh, I can get kind of spicy. Spicy, eh? and I can get Ooh. kind of salty. This one, this one's fun. Let's 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 spend the rest of this episode. He's trying, he's trying to break us apart here. <laughs> sitting here reaching across the couch, just trying yeah. to grab your throat. We were sitting here fighting, and TJ's just sitting between us, like. Come on, guys. I'll just, guess I'll get to keep playing the game. Come on, guys. This is the monkey level. <laughs> oh, your they, favorite. They kick you. That's what they like they to do. They look like natives. <laughs> well, they're monkeys. I mean... Like, like, like stereotypical natives. Oh, you think this is racist? Yeah, I think they're racist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't <laughs> got sauce on my hands. <laughs> not, only, not only are they monkeys, but they're throwing bananas at you. <laughs> oh, those banana chuckers. <laughs> 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 this is totally racist. <laughs> I don't know if this is racist. They're sort of like whitish black. They're like if these guys were like dark black, like blackface black, then it would be racist. And like you know, like or like straight racist. up Resident Evil Five. Probably wouldn't yeah. be as racist as Tom and Jerry though. What an amazing which is actually a very tops. racist cartoon currently. Is Tom and Jerry racist? It's got kind like, of. It's got like this like I don't know. It's got like a there's like there's like this like blast. This black like lady housekeeper or whatever. They oh have in the god! Show. And they, they always like portray her as like you know, I think when they like blackface. Um, yeah, yeah, but they also kind of make her. I don't know if they like make her seem simple or just like dumb. Well, they never showed faces in Tom and Jerry. They did a couple times. I don't think so. I think it was yeah, always like just their feet. <laughs> oh, Spyro's dead. I fall off the tree. Are you in Ewok Village? They showed they showed faces <laughs> in the Tom and Jerry movie. Yeah, well, that was the movie. That would have been something very different. I remember, um, like, one little, like, meme thing. Where it's like, Dude, this was in Tom and Jerry. And it was, like, a little, like, cutscene animation of, like, Tom grabbing Jerry 
Because it's like right from like some really pretty sexy cat or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's like in a cowboy outfit. Uh huh. And he grabs Tom, flicks him up in the air, unrolls a piece of paper, has uh, Jerry land in the middle of a piece of paper, rolls him up like a cigarette. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, jeez. And like flicks it up, like all like cowboy style, grabs it in his mouth, kind of lights it, he's like. <sighs> and he like blows a heart around the little sexy cat. Yep. <laughs> like. Whoa! Yeah, Tom, <laughs> Cartoons! Tom, Tom just smoked Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> and um, the other one where uh, the Flintstones actually had cigarette commercials. Oh, yeah. Did I show you those ones? Yeah, I saw I some think, of those online. Like, they, uh, Flintstones actually was um, used for Winston cigarettes or something <laughs> like that. And, you, and there's a uh, black and white animation of uh, Fred Flintstone going... Winston tastes good like a cigarette shit or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's good for kids. Yeah. Well, actually, no. Flintstones was not for kids. That's yeah. the funny thing. It's it was like the, it was like Family Guy for back then. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Dude, it'd be fun to see stuff like... I mean, look, like... At, look at all the animals. They keep looking at you like, eh, it's a lemon. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like doing like weird stuff like, you know, running the dishwasher or like... Oh, I thought, I thought you meant like... Flintstones was like an adult thing, and then they decided to make a kid version of it, and that's the one we grew up no, with. Well, no, we grew up with it, but that was like the adult thing from that time, because it was in yeah. black and white times. Family Guy. Spot. Yeah, this yeah, is except, before they had color. Except I feel like I feel like in that regard, right? Like, and then they tried know, to double it like with a, a with kid the could have watched Flintstones with their parents, and they both would have gotten something out of it. Yeah. Okay. But like. Now, you could not watch Family Guy with your children and have both people get something out of it. Well, I don't know. Nowadays, youth is a little different. And that's that's true. Yeah. You're like, yeah, they I didn't say penis. This isn't funny. I can't I can't say I'm looking forward to this next generation growing up. It's a good thing. That that's why everybody hates millennials. It's it's like it's like an ongoing joke. Everyone's allowed to hate millennials. I hate millennials. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They're, like, so douchey. So I probably did like 50% of that level. There was a lot of hidden stuff in that one. I wasn't but... even watching. I was hating on millennials. <laughs> hating on millennials can be a good thing. It's the only good thing nowadays. It usually is, isn't it? We gotta be, <laughs> we gotta be hating on something. Seriously, like... You know, I, I was wondering though... Dude, like... we're like 10 years apart and I hate them so much. Yeah, well see, that's that's what I was thinking though. Is I don't know much about the generation wars that go on here. I mean, there was the baby boomers and then there was like Gen Xers and then there was... No, there was something, must have been something between baby boomers and Gen X. Well, there was, a lo there was a long difference between the boomers because everybody was born all at once. Yeah. <laughs> but so so there's the thing though, there's like these generation gaps where there's like certain character traits that come out as a sign of the times. I think we're Xs, aren't we? Aren't we Xs? Well, that's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, I don't know if we're a Gen X. Because the, the truth is, we might be, like, the high end of Millennials. No, Millennials <laughs> were, like, the early 2000s. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, no. That's why it's called... I was called... really worried I might be a Millennial. No, that's why it's called I was so worried. Remember the whole thing? The new Millennium! Oh, yeah, I know, but... No, I... I mean, I... the truth is, we still yeah, grew I'm up a... largely in the 2000s. I'm a 90s kid. Yeah. I'm legit 90s. I, I was born in 88... I was old enough to start remembering right when the 90s started. So I yep. remember every single thing in the 90s. <laughs> I am the 90s kid. The best time to be alive for children's television. <laughs> it sure was, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. On that note. Like the pinnacle of everything awesomeness without any of the politically correctness garbage that is up nowadays. That was just as they were starting to censor things. Yeah. Yeah. God dang, the 90s were great for cartoons. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Cowardly, oh, yeah. Cow, there was, cow and Chicken. Like, there was also good stuff in the 80s, but we missed most Ren of that. Ren Stimpy. But, yeah, like, yeah. but, like, yeah, you, you definitely can from time to time. Two stupid like dogs. 80s cartoons you know, that weren't bad. There was actually, like, an adult version of Ren and Stimpy, which I found. I know, the adult party cartoon or something like that. <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> I think I was on Netflix once and I watched it. I'm like, okay, now that's just dumb. <laughs> they didn't even have the same actor, voice actors. It's just all of a sudden a dog and a cat like fucking each other. Yeah, this is kind of dumb. <laughs> oh my god, that's where cat dog started. <laughs> probably, probably was, wasn't it? Cat dog's mom and dad was running Stempy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they never explicitly say if no, uh, it <laughs> if uh, Stempy's a boy or a girl. <laughs> he sure does act feminine. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, fun fact, that was also voiced by the guy who does um, Fry in Futurama. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Like, a lot of the voice actors... Oh, they, he does so much. They do so much. I'm sorry, but that's bringing up the past episode, too. Yeah, we, we'd already talked about that a little bit. But, uh... Yeah, no, I think... The boss is coming up here, and then we'll pretty much be done with this world. Cool. Did you just start this world? I think so. I think I, I was too busy worrying about sauce all over my hands. <laughs> I did the. I did the. And then complaining about millennials. I, I did. The, millennials are garbage. I did the monkeys. I did the swamp. I did the electric plates. And I think this is. Oh yeah, I did the. Flight. Is, this, is this the fourth world? It is. Yeah. So this I think there's only two more worlds. Oh, that's left. a big purple dragon. Attacking the power pole. Do you ever wish you were born at a different time? Um. I don't know, not particularly. Okay, think of this. You know how history is played out. Mm hmm. You know everything that's gonna happen. Do you wish you would have been born in another time? Not especially. I can't really say I things. wish I would have been born in like the 50s or the 60s. But then there wouldn't have been video games. No, but I mean, there wouldn't need to be because everybody plays outside. Yeah, I guess from that <laughs> perspective, it would be kind of nice. And you didn't have to worry about... Look, man, there's there's nice things. There's good and bad things about every time period in history. I don't think there'll ever be a time in history where it's like everything is, is better or worse. Um, uh, it could get better. You never I know. I mean, like, if you were around in the 50s, you probably would have had to deal with World War II and Nazis and Dude, what? No, no, no. World War Russia II ended in, like, 42. Dude. 50s, 60s, that was after World War II. Yeah, I guess, the 50s and 60s. That was the but, Cold War kind of era. Yeah, but like, But if I know everything, I knew no nukes would have been launched. Yeah, but you're not saying, like, you, you wish you were born in another time with freaking future sight. Okay, well, basically, I watched a movie, The Sandlot, and I'm like, I wish I was in that timeline. Sure. No, I'm I like, can believe everybody that. Everybody in the cul de sac knows you. You just run outside, Mom, I'm gonna go play ball! And they're like, okay! In case... And not like... Alright, take your pepper spray and your emergency cell phone and make sure you don't talk to any strangers. In case anyone knows. Lock the boss, door on your way out! That boss was like super easy. I like literally had to like do two rooms. And yeah, no, I was watching that. I was like, you didn't even hit that guy. You just killed his little lightning rods. And he's just like, well, guess I'm done then. He's a pretty, uh, pretty lame boss. But, um, yeah, no, I know. If I had to pick a time period to be born, I don't know if I could actually pick. Yeah. Because I honestly can't say I regret I'd say 60s. I mean, you know, now's not great. I feel like now we're sort of in, like, a period where it's, like, we're, like, two in the middle. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, nothing interesting is happening in our lifetimes. Except the new iPhone. <laughs> yeah, but, like, all no, we're really doing really. is we're sort of in, like, almost a... I, I would say, I would almost call it, like, if I was going to be, like, super hippy-dippy about it, I'd call it, like, a uh, an emotional recession. Hippy-dippy? <laughs> yeah. Hippy-dippy. I like that. What about Dilly Dilly? Because, <laughs> man, like, freaking, you know, in the past they had wars and character building things, and in the future they're going to have robots and science fiction. And but we're, like, like, in the middle of the wars. It's like we're not actually sending people to fight, we're sending robots. Well, yeah, but I just mean, like, right now we're sort of in a point where, like, we got nothing going for us. <laughs> like, we're just the generation that's in between. The but past got, and the future. But we got cool-looking video games. Yeah, well, you know, technology is definitely... like We're the at, patty between the buns. At the very least. <laughs> we're, the, we're the meat between the buns. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> we're yeah. the flavor. We're the flavor. Yeah, just I just I just meant that, like, you know, freaking technology has definitely grown a lot in our time. So... But I don't feel like... You got an answer from me, you got an answer from TJ, Oot doesn't have an answer, or whatever. Have an answer about what? When you're gonna be born. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, now's now's fine. Now I'm we're not in dream about world. It, but. Whatever. <laughs> Speaking of uh, where we wish we could be, we're in yeah. dream world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess All right. We'll... Well, yeah. This is a good time to call it good for now. Never got an answer from you. I'm this, gonna bug this, you now. This world is very strange. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that this place is very. This reminds strange. me of Glover. Yeah, it kind of does remind me of Glover. Let's just get a quick peek at what they do. <laughs> it's Glover. Oh, they sort of mutate into weird people. <laughs> it's Glover. <laughs> it's straight up Glover. Oh God. They look bizarre. <laughs> Alright, anyways, we'll come back maybe next time on Operation Pixel with uh, some more some more Spyro, maybe. We'll get into maybe. Dream World. We'll see. Yep. Next time cool. on the Pixel Operation. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, TJ. Of course. Uh, and we'll see you all next time. Yes, indeed. Pixel.